At the 1992 Winter Olympic Games, Brian Scheimer and Brakeman Herschel Walker finished seventh. The USA had not won an Olympic medal since 1956. An upstate New York NASCAR driver was watching the program and he was concerned. Well, I was watching the 92 Olympics, uh, John Morgan, the commentator, and he made the statement, our American kids weren't doing very well. So maybe the reason they're not doing well is they're having to buy second-rate European bobsleds from their competition. And, you know, that just didn't sit right with me. You know, I, I bleed red, white, and blue. Bodine was obsessed with building a bobsled for the U.S. team, even when he was working. How does this compare to that bobsledding you're involved in? We're proud of the bobsled. Uh, the colors are over there in Europe now testing and uh, getting ready for the Olympics next year. It took a few years for the program to start to turn around, but when it did, Bodine bobsled was on the map. Brian Scheimer started winning races in 1996 in Cortina and Innsbruck back to back, and the program then was launched. At the 2002 Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, the Americans broke the bobsled drought. They won gold, silver, and bronze in Bodine sleds that were made in America. In 2006, Bodine started bringing in NHRA and NASCAR drivers to drive bobsleds to bring more awareness to the program. Young stars like Joey Logano of NASCAR and Morgan Lucas of the NHRA bridged the Bodine bobsled project into the auto racing community. And Bodine was feeling pretty confident. Hi everybody, Jeff Bonin here. 13 years ago I decided to build bobsled for our American athletes. They were buying European sleds. And since then, our kids have been winning medals. Here we are at the pre-Olympic test in 2009 in Vancouver. The American girls, gold, bronze, and sixth place. The American men, even better. They got second place in their brand new night train four-man sleds. Boy, that track seemed like it was built for American sleds. Here at the 2009 World Championships, just two weeks later, the Americans walk away with their first World Championship title in 50 years. With all the success in February 2009, people started thinking that that track in Vancouver was built for Bodine sleds. I uh, don't think they built the track for Bodine sleds but uh, it certainly would appear from the results that we had an advantage there. Cuneo was not content. He took the night train and the team down to the 8-2 wind tunnel in Mooresville in July of 2009 to find more aerodynamic efficiencies. And the night train team did. The team was now pretty confident going into Vancouver. But the founder of the Bodine Bobsled Project, Jeff Bodine, he was cautiously optimistic going into Vancouver. Really perfect timing. You know, you're right before the Olympics. You know, you want you want that momentum going into the Olympics. We've got it. You know, I just pray every night that our athletes stay healthy, um, uh, physically and mentally, and our equipment stays strong. And Bob is building more night trains and more equipment for the girls and the, the two men, two person, and uh, just uh, doing a lot of praying right now that things continue like they're going for us. At those 2010 games, Bodine's prayers were answered. Aaron Pack and Alana Myers won the bronze medal in the women's competition, but the story of the games was the four-man where Steve Holcomb and the night train team won the USA's first gold medal in bobsledding since 1948. Bodine was there to share the celebration with his team, and that night, the athletes got their Olympic gold medals. Then it was onto the banquet circuit, on the cover of Sports Illustrated. They're at NASCAR races in the Fox Sports booth. Todd Bodine even tricked out his truck with night train design. And the athletes were there with their gold medals. They're also in attendance at NHRA races. It was a great moment for Bodine bobsled. But at the 2012 World Bobsled Championships, which returned to Lake Placid, New York, Holcomb did something that no other bobsled had ever done. He won again for the third in the last four years, but he also won the two-man title and becomes the first American history to win two-man and four-man gold in the same world championships. The night train was now turning into a cult in the sport of bobsledding. But as they went through 2013, the Bodine Project decided they had to build a new night train. Right. And in March of 2013 at Wheel and Engineering, Bob Cooney on the left, Jeff Bodine in the middle, and Steve Holcomb on the right unveiled the new night train. <laughs> And the next day, they took it to Lake Placid, New York for testing. The team got fitted in the sled. Come on, boys. And with Jeff Bodine looking on, they took its inaugural trip down the Lake Placid track, where they've had so much success. And down the track, first trip, 
with a brand new piece of equipment with some different designs, Steve Holcomb was impressed for the time. You know, 55-2, that's what we did uh, this last year in the World Cup um, training. And so that's pretty uh, pretty motivating to see that we come out here kind of just more or less jogging it off the top and we're, we're just as fast as we were in the World Cup and we were you know, in race mode, so it's, uh, it's exciting. Every day they continue to test, every day they continue to make changes. And the designer, Bob Cuneo, just like he would do in auto racing, had something different to do every day. We're going to take it back to the garage and we have some some other things that we want to test. We're going to make some experiments tonight and uh, see if those experiments work because those are the things we need to know before the summer. The testing continued. In the last trip down of the Night Train 2, Holcomb and team was pretty positive. They've accomplished a lot and Jeff Bodine was there with them. Good way to end the season. Yeah, I like it. Healthy. Yeah, good. Great Everybody's sled. healthy. Great sled. We're good to go. Watch out, world. We've accomplished every one of our goals. We've proven that the thing is really fast. Even when even when it's not perfect, it's really fast. And Steve is confident that we're going to come back loaded for beer. So the designer is happy, and so is Team Night Train. We're happy. Are you guys happy? What we're happy. Right, we're definitely happy. happy. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Gold, right? Next Gold. year? Yep. Absolutely. Well, we, we have a lot of confidence in you guys. You did great here, so thanks a lot. So a couple years it's taken to build this night train too in preparation for next year's Olympics. Congratulations to the sled builders, Bob Coney on the right, Jim Gardy on the left. They're all working for one goal, and Jeff Bodine yeah, says it. White face. Next year, yeah, Golden Sochi, right here. Team Holcomb, go night train. <laughs>